Hi, morning everyone. How are you today? This morning we will have our new lesson. It's all about uh, division with integers. Um, we will establish the relationship between multiplication and division with integers. Are you guys ready? Let's go. All right. Division with integers. For the objectives, we have three. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to first state the rule for division with integers. Second, perform division with integers. And third, solve problems involving division with integers. All right. Um, there are terminologies. First, we have dividend. Second, divisor. And third is quotient. We will have to define each of these terminologies. Of course, if we have uh, this example, this is uh, 25 over 5, which is equal to 5. Um, we will identify um, which is dividend, which is our divisor and quotient. Of course, 25 is our dividend and five is our divisor and of course our quotient is five I mean to say if we're going to um divide the dividend by the divisor we can get the quotient but uh, let's say for example um the dividend is uh, unknown so all you have to do is to multiply the quotient and divisor and that's equal to dividend However, if we have a uh, divisor as uh, the unknown variable, then we can divide the dividend by quotient or dividend divided by quotient is equal to divisor. But uh, if the unknown is quotient, of course, dividend divided by divisor is equal to quotient. Okay. All right. Now, rules for division with integers. Uh, we'll start with the rules. Okay. If A and B are integers, then uh, you try to imagine class that A and B are integers. It's either um, A is positive or B is negative or A is positive, B is positive or anything. Then we have the quotient of integers with the same sign is positive. Again, take note of that. The quotient of integers with the same sign is positive. So we have positive A divided by positive b is equal to positive a over positive b. So meaning when we divide two positive numbers or positive integers, the quotient is always positive. And um, negative a divided by negative b is equal to positive a over b. So meaning if we're going to divide two negative numbers, the quotient is always positive. All right? Okay, so let's go to rule number two. The quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. Again, the quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. Okay, we have this one. Um, let's say, for example, A is negative and B is positive. Of course, we are dividing two different signs integers. Okay? So, if negative a divided by positive b, the quotient is negative a over b. Or if you have this a is positive, b is negative, then the quotient is negative a and b. Same with um, our first example. Okay, so different in signs, you are dividing integers with different in signs, the product is always negative. Okay, so take note of that. Um, number three, zero divided by any number is zero. Okay, zero as our numerator and our denominator is uh, any number, then the quotient is equal to zero. Or our dividend is zero and our divisor is any integer, the quotient is equal to zero. Like for example, zero, over positive a the quotient is 
always equal to zero. All right? For number four, zero divided by zero is zero. Okay? It's one. This is the exception to the rule. Because we have um, any number divided by zero is undefined. All right? But uh, if our dividend is zero divided by our divisor, which is zero, the answer is equal to zero. Let's go to number four. Dividing any integer by zero is undefined. Okay? Let's have an example. A over zero is equal to infinity or undefined. Okay, it's infinity. This is an infinity symbol. Okay, so meaning it's not defined. Any number, whether it's a positive or the number is negative, when you, when you divide it to zero, um, the quotient is undefined or infinity. All right? So we have five rules. It's one, no? B over zero is uh, still infinity. Okay? All right. So examples, um, we're going to apply the rule, okay? If you can still recall, rule number one, um, when we divide integers with the same sign, the quotient is always positive. Um, rule number two, when we divide uh, integers with different signs, definitely the quotient is negative. So we will apply that. And of course, any number divided by zero is undefined or zero divided by any number, the quotient is equal to zero. Now we will apply the rules. Number one, this one, um, 10 over two, meaning 10 is positive, divided by positive two, what's the quotient? Of course, this positive divided by positive, expect that the quotient is positive, which is positive five. Okay, next, um, negative 18, Divided by negative 9, this is actually rule number 1. Same sign. So what should be the quotient? Okay, when a negative divided by a negative, the quotient is negative. Uh, I'm sorry, the quotient is positive. Positive divided by positive, the quotient is positive. So still rule number 1. So negative 18 divided by negative 9, the answer is positive 2. That's rule number 1. Next, negative 12 divided by positive 4. This is rule number 2. When you divide uh, two integers with different signs, definitely the quotient is negative. Okay? So that's why um, negative 12 divided by 4, the quotient is negative 3. All right. Um, positive 25 divided by negative 5. Of course, the, the integers uh, have different signs. Okay, so the, the quotient uh, is negative, which is negative 5. Next, 0 divided by negative 12. Yeah, that's rule number, hmm? number 4. All right, so any number or 0 divided by any number. I am sorry, that's rule number uh, 3 or 4. Anyway, 0 divided by any number, the quotient is equal to 0. No? All right. Next, 62 divided by negative 2. Okay, this is our dividend. Then negative 2 is our divisor. So we are dividing two different signs integers. So positive divided by negative, expect that our quotient is negative, which is negative 31. Next. Um, this is positive divided by negative. Of course, the quotient is negative because uh, the, integers, uh, the integers have the different size. So 36 divided by 8, so 36 divided by negative 8, the quotient is, okay, so there's no exact uh, value for 36 over 8. So all you have to do is to um, reduce, okay? We're going to reduce 36 and uh, plus 8. Uh, we have uh, a negative um, answer, negative sign for our quotient. Of course, we're going to divide the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factors. Okay, what's the greatest common factor? 36 and 8? 4. Right? 4. So for the numerator, we have 36 over 4 and 8 over 4. So this is equal to negative 36 over 4, that's 9. 
and eight over four, that's two. So we will carry the negative sign. So the final answer would be negative nine over two. Okay, you don't need to um, convert this to a mixed number. So anyway, um, our answer is an improper fraction. It's okay. Um, next, negative 42 divided by negative four, definitely our quotient is positive. So 42 over four, um, of course, we're going to find or reduce, no? This is reducible. Okay, by, by, um, we divide this by two, we divide this by two. So 42 over two, that's, uh, how much? 21 over two. Okay, that's one, huh? So that's 21 over two. Okay, so any question? Okay, so the final answer would be 21 over two. Let's go to the next. Um, negative of negative one over seven. Okay, so what should be the, the process on finding the quotient of this? Now we're going to multiply the negative to the numerator and the uh, over denominator. So we have this one, negative times negative one over seven. Can you still recall our rule for multiplication? Or in we are multiplying negative um, numbers, two negative numbers, negative times negative, it's positive. So our answer would be positive one over seven. All right, next, negative two of 12 over negative seven. What should be the process? Okay, so anyway, um, the correct answer is uh, negative times positive 12. That's negative 12 over negative seven. Now we are dividing to um, same sign integers. So definitely negative divided by negative, but the answer is positive 12 over seven. Last one, or second to the last one, negative 32 over zero. The answer is undefined, okay? Because a number divided by zero is undefined. Um, this one, four and two third over negative two. So our numerator is uh, a mixed number, and our denominator is a uh, whole number. So all we have to do first is to convert um, the mixed number into improper fraction. So what's the process? Of course, we are going to multiply three and four, that's 12, plus two, that's uh, 14 over three. So meaning our numerator now is uh, 14 over three over negative two. Okay, then after that, to simplify, um, a uh, fraction in the numerator and whole number in the denominator. So all we have to do is uh, we will multiply 14 over three by the reciprocal of your denominator. So we have this one. So negative, so we have negative here. So 14 over three, our numerator. And what is the reciprocal of two, of negative two? That's negative one half. That's why we have negative here, no? All right, so. For multiplication of fraction, all we, all, all we have to do is to multiply all the numerators over the product of the denominators. So definitely we have 14 times 1, that's 14. 3 times 2, that's 6. Um, still, we will have to carry the sign. Or anyway, we will apply the cancellation, which is 14 over 2, which is 7. Okay, so now the final answer is... Uh, Okay, the final answer would be 14 over 6, or we reduce that to lowest term, the answer is negative 7 over 3. So this is the final answer. All right? Plus, when we go back to our examples, to check if our answer is correct, um, we will use multiplication. We know that multiplication is the inverse of division. That's why to check our division process, we will have to apply the multiplication. Let's have example number one. 10 over 2, which is equal to 5. So check if our answer is correct. We will multiply 5 and 2. 5 times 2, that's 10. So meaning our answer is correct. This one, 25 over negative 5 equals negative 5. Of course, to multiply this one, negative 5 times negative 5, um, positive 25. Or um, this is our dividend, this is our divisor, and this is our quotient. Um, to get our dividend, we're going to multiply the divisor and the quotient. 
and we will get the dividend. All right, so this one, negative 18 over negative 9, the, prod, uh, the quotient is 2. So we'll have to multiply 2 and negative 9, that's negative 18. So meaning our answer is correct. This one, 0 over negative 12 is 0. So 0 times negative 12 for 0. This one, 62 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 31. We will multiply negative 31 and negative 2. And that's positive 62. All right? So this one, 36 over negative 8 is equal to negative 9 halves. Okay? So what shall we do? We will multiply negative 9 halves to negative 8. So definitely negative times negative is positive. So 8 times 9, that's 72. Divide by 2, 36. Okay, so meaning our answer is correct. Well, in this case, 42, negative 42 divided by negative 4 is equal to 21 over 2. We will multiply 21 over 2 to negative 4 if we can get a negative 42. Of course, negative 4 times 21, that's going to be 84. Negative 84 divided by 2 negative 42 all right so this one negative of uh, negative one over seven um this is equal to one over seven because negative times negative it's positive over seven so meaning the two are equal okay so negative 12 over negative seven um we will multiply the negative here to positive 12 that's neg uh that's negative 12 over negative seven Negative 12 over negative 7. Of course, we are going to um, get the product, the quotient, which is positive because same sign. So the, the final answer would be 12 over 7. All right. So um, what is 1? 4 and 2 over 3 divided by negative 2. So we will multiply this one, no? negative 2 and 7 over 3. Negative times negative is positive. 2 times 7, that's 14 over 3. 14 over 3 is equal to 4 and 2 thirds. Okay? You, you try to divide 14 divided by 3. The answer is uh, 4. 4 times say 12. So we have remainder 2 and 2 over 3. All right? So I think uh, everything is clear. So let's go to the next. Division is the inverse operation of multiplication. Okay, so that's why um, we will use multiplication to check if our answer for division is correct. Okay, symbols. Um, take note class that for division, these are the symbols. Okay, division symbol. Of course, the bar, let's say one half, so meaning one divided by two. And of course, this uh, symbol, we use this in our elementary grade, which is 20 divided by four. So these are the symbols for uh, division. All right, fill up an example, multiplication sentence and division sentence. So meaning to say, we are going to convert the multiplication sentence to division sentence. Okay, for example, 12 divided by, sorry, 12 times 5 equals 60. So this is a multiplication sentence. Now, we will convert this to division sentence. So what should be the process? The answer is 60 over 5 is equal to 12. Okay, so the one I um, teach you before, that's uh, 60, which is our quotient, times divisor is equal to dividend, this one. 60 over 5, this one, is equal to 12. Or 60 over 12 is equal to 5, either. Next example, negative 20 times negative 2 equals 40. What should be the division sentence? This is a multiplication sentence. Um, we will convert this to division sentence. So what should be our dividend? Okay, out of the three, no? our dividend is 40 and our divisor is negative 2 and um, our quotient is negative 20, this one. Okay, 40 is our dividend, our divisor is negative 2, our quotient is negative 20. So this is a division sentence of this uh, multiplication sentence. Okay? So I think that's clear. Now for evaluation, we will try to evaluate if you really learned uh, our discussion or if you have, uh, if you really understand the lesson or not. All right, write the related multiplication sentence of the following. Okay, all right. So we have four examples. Now division, the, the given is division 
So all you have to do is to convert uh, the division sentence to multiplication sentence. Okay, so what should be the multiplication sentence of this? Anybody who can give me the answer? Um, of course, um, we will multiply the quotient and the divisor to get the dependent one. Okay, so our divisor is negative 2. Our quotient is negative 5 is equal to 10, which is our dividend. Um, take note, class, that multiplication is commutative. Either um, either of the two, let's say, for example, negative 2 and negative 5. So you can have negative 5 and negative 2. Um, it does not affect the, the result. Okay, so this is the multiplication sentence of 10 over negative 2 is equal to negative 5. That's negative 2 times negative 5 is equal to positive 10. Next, 21 over negative 7 equals negative 3. So you multiply the quotient and the divisor. So our quotient is negative 3 and our divisor is negative 7. So multiply the two, we'll get the quotient, I'm sorry, we'll get the dividend, which is 21. So our multiplication or our multiplication sentence is negative 3 times negative 7 is equal to 21. Clear? All right, let's go to the next example. Negative 16 divided by 4 is equal to negative 4. So what should be our multiplication multiplication sentence? So that's negative 4 times 4 is equal to negative 16. This one, this is our quotient. Of course, um, this is our divisor. And this is our quotient. So is equal to the product of quotient and divisor is equal to the dividend. Take note class, um, if you have this uh, example, negative 4 times 4 equals negative 16. So we can say that negative 4 and 4 are factors, okay, are factors of negative 16. All right, so when half over 7 is equal to 1 over 14. So how can you convert this to a multiplication sentence? This is our quotient. We will multiply 1 over 14 by 7 to get 1 half. Okay, and that's our multiplication sentence. It's one. One fourth times seven is equal to seven over 14. How? Okay, we'll multiply seven and one over 14. That's why seven times one, seven over 14. Okay, so don't be confused on this. Um, when you multiply seven to numerator, bring down or bring down the denominator. Do not multiply the numerator. Do not multiply the denominator. That's a wrong process. Okay, so this is our um, multiplication sentence. Um, that's uh, seven. Oh, by the way, oh, yeah. Okay, so seven times one, that's seven over 14. Seven over 14 is reducible, meaning we can still reduce seven over 14, which is equal to one half. Um, take note, class, that you always reduce your answer. Your final answer should be in reduced form. Okay? So find the value of k to make the statement true. All right. So case unknown. Okay. We have, for example, k over 4 is equal to 4. What should be the value of k? So we will apply. This is the division sentence. Um, we will apply the multiplication sentence. Or we'll apply our knowledge that uh, dividend divided by a divisor is equal to quotient. To find for the dividend, you are going to multiply the quotient and the divisor to get the dividend. So what's the product of 4 and 4? Of course, 16. So meaning the value of k is equal to 16. Now this one, negative k over negative 7 equals 11. So when we multiply negative 7 and 11, that's negative 77. So we have negative k equals negative 77. Take note class that k should always be positive. So we will um, multiply both sides by negative. Okay, so negative 77 times negative. Of course, the value of k should be, ah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we have this example now before this one. Okay, so anyway, um, negative 45 divided by k is equal to 15. Okay, k now is your divisor. So what should be the process? Divide the dividend by a quotient. This is your dividend, this is your quotient. So negative 45, this one divide by 3. Okay, 
So since um, negative and positive, the quotient is negative. K now is negative 15. Okay? So this one, let's go back. Uh, this is the process. Okay? Um, this one, huh? So negative K, you multiply negative 7 and 11, we have this one. So the product is negative 77. Um, multiply both sides of an equation by of an equation by negative. So negative K times negative, that's positive. Um, negative 77 multiplied by negative, that should be positive 77. So the value of K now is um, 77. All right? So we have this one. 265. Wait. Okay. 265 over K is equal to 53. What should be the process? K is your divisor, um, meaning we're going to divide our dividend is 265 divided by our quotient. 265 divided by 53, um, our quotient, is, uh, the value of K is positive, which is equal to 5. All right. So any question about uh, our evaluation? This is very simple. Okay. Let's go to the next. All right. Problem solving. Okay. In a periodical exam, two students scored 95, six students scored 90, three students scored, uh, scored, scored 85, and one student scored 75. What um what is the what is the average score for the class now? This is so what is the average score for the class? Okay, so can you still um remember? Um, the term average in your elementary that uh, this is statistics now average or mean okay so let's pick up average let's say for example you try to get your average grade no in your first grading second grading third grading and fourth grading and the final grading so meaning if you have four grading period so all your grades in the first grading second grading third grading and fourth grading you have to get the sum and then you divide that by the number of gradings, which is four. So let's say, for example, your grade in uh, first grading in a particular subject is 85, second grading 90, third grading 92, fourth grading 95. What should be your average? So all you have to do is to add those grades divided by four, four, which is four grading period. And uh, when you get the, the quotient, that will be your average grade. But in our case, um this is a, a combined average okay we're in um there are two students who scored 95 six students scored 90 three students scored 85 and one student scored 75 so this is the solution okay so you have um you multiply two and 95 because there are two students who got uh, a score of 95 plus six students who got 90 plus three students who got 85 and one student got 75 and then you divide that uh, by the number of students. How many students do we have? 2 plus 6, 8 plus 3, 11 plus 1, 12. So your formula would be this one. Okay. This is 12. Okay. So 2 times 95, this one. 2 times 95 is 190. 6 times 90 is 540. 3 times 85 is 225. And 1 times 75 is 75 over 12. Ah, you can use your calculator to compute, uh, uh, to get the sum of our numerator or the sum of our dividend. This is our divisor. So we are looking for the quotient. Okay, so this is equal to 1,060 over 12. Equals 1,060 over 12 is 88.33. Okay, so this is our uh, estimate that the average for the entire class is 88.33 or we can round this um round this off to we can round this uh, 88.33 to 88 okay um any question about our lesson all right thanks so much okay to summarize for the division with integers you have to take note of this okay positive divided by positive the quotient is positive Next, negative divided by negative, the quotient is positive. Next, negative divided by positive, 
the quotient is negative. Next, positive divided by negative is equal to negative. So you have to remember this uh, technique so that uh, you can answer any division of problem with regards to a uh, division of integers. Okay, so any question? Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching.